welcome back students right today let us come back and do the next classification or not the classification i'm sorry next nomenclature that is aldehyde nomenclature we'll be do doing the iupac nomenclature hope you would have seen the earlier video i've taught the different rules and i've also given you what is the order of uh, taking up the functional groups also please watch the video and then come back to this so when i have to speak about aldehydes so basically here uh, cho the uh, suffix which we use is al a l okay that so first of all in aldehyde or carboxylic acid you have to remember the functional group carbon it should be given the first preference this should be named first one two three so this is prop so let us write this propanal proper al see here propanal you will take out e and you will write al now here in the second case you have an aldehyde group as well as <coughs> you have an alkene also right so see here here i said you have to uh, name this or give the aldehyde function group that carbon one this is two right so here we have three so it is probe so let us name that at. it is probe right so in which position is uh, uh, the alkene it is two in one al this is how you're going to write now let us name this again here you have an aldehyde group you have an alkene you have an alkyl uh, phenyl group so i told you please watch the video where i have given you what is the order of preference of naming the compound right first always aldehyde group one this is two this is three this is okay three and you'll take it as a substituent so phenyl uh, i told you alkyl alkoxy halogens all you'll be taking it as substituents only so let us name this this will be at third uh, carbon you have phenyl three phenyl then after that it is probe three carbons probe two in one al okay this is a compound now let us name this so here again you have to see the parent chain isn't it right. i told you what did i say i said the aldehyde group should get the first one two three and four so this is butyl so name it three hydroxy three hydroxy four carbon so it is butanol butanol a right. now see let us see some more example students here um, i've taken this out let, let me because this is a repeated one i've scratched out now here again i have an aldehyde group i have an alkene so i told you always the aldehyde group first position two three four five so how should you name what is the name of the parent chain pent so this is pent two enal that so when it comes to this this is a cyclo group isn't it but how many carbons one two three four five pent so this is cyclo penta okay penta just see here there is a o ketonic group so we name give the suffix as own o n e one from alkane take out e and write penta known right but here still we have a substituent three methyl i told you isn't it so always alkyl groups are taking as substituents so this is three methyl cyclopentanone now let's come back this is a ketonic group now how to name this compound i said phenyl group alkyl group halides all should be taken as substituents i told you isn't it yes so let us num uh, name this so when you have such ketonic group remember you have to give that as a first preference one two three so in the first one you have one phenyl prop propan one okay propan p-a-n propan hyphen one own so this is how you're going to name it done now let's come back and see the next nomenclature that is nomenclature of ketones so ketones you will be giving the suffix as own this is the thing so C double bond o is a function group of ketones. C double bond o on either side you have alkyl groups. Now when I have to name this compound, here you have two methyl groups, here also you have two methyl groups. Both are uh, like at equidistance. So first of all I have to see the parent chain. Done. On either side this is two. This is also two. Two substituents. That means here when I have to name this, right? So both are taken as dimethyl. 
Now, here, first carbon, second carbon, third carbon. Should we take like that or should we name this as 1? Let's see here. Suppose if I take this as 1, this becomes 2. This becomes 3, 4. Isn't it? Yes. So, first of all, total number of carbon atoms are how many? Pent, isn't it? So, let us name that 2, 4 dimethyl pent pentan 3 ohm. Okay. So, if I open this chain, it will become 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay. And this will become the fourth carbon. So, pentan 1, pentan 3 ohm. Let us name this. It is only basically three carbon atoms, correct? So, 1, 2, 3, prop. So, propan, 2, own. So, 1, 2, 3. If I have to name this compound, this is again a cyclo group. So, how, how many carbon atoms are there? 6, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is nothing but cyclohex. So, still there, there is a ketonic group, cyclohexanone. But you should not forget there is a methyl group isn't it right so one two three four five get this carbon this this is six so what will you write which position is a methyl group this is present in two methyl cyclohexanone let us name this compound again both are ketonic groups correct so number one two three four five so, the second carbon and the fourth carbon you have dions 2, 4. But before that, penta. Remember this penta. 5 carbon atoms. Penta 2, 4, dione. Because two ketonic groups are there. Let's come back and do some more. This particular example, right? Here you have two methyl groups. You have an alkene. Correct? Right? Total number 2, 3, 4, 5. But I said you have to take this as a substituent, isn't it? So, what um, will I get? I get an answer as 4 methyl pent triene 2 ohm. Done. Let us name this compound. Here in this compound, you have a methyl group. You have to see the longest chain. And this should be given the minimum number 1, 2, 3, 4. Third position you have a methyl group and second position you have a ketone. So we'll name it 3 methyl. Four, so 4 carbons, no? So it is butan 2 ohm. Done. Here, let us name this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pent. I told you this should be given the minimum number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is pent. It is 3 in 2 ohm. Done. Let us name this compound students. So, this is a different uh, one other than NCRT. But um, see here, there is a cyclo group here which has 6 carbon atoms. So, let us finish off that cyclohex. Sir, but there is a ketone group cyclohexanone. Done. Let us come back earlier ones. This cyclohexan part is over. We are left with this part now. Now, this one, when I have to see, there is an oxo group, there is butyl group also. See here, this is butyl group, isn't it? Four carbon atoms. So, how will I name? 2, 3 oxo and butyl close the bracket cyclohexanone done yes so students help me come back and do the next nomenclature that is carboxylic acid hope this is clear students for you all right let me come back and do carboxylic now acidic function group we use the uh, suffix as oxal ox means oic acid carboxylic means oic acid or carboxylate and the function group which is present in C double bond OH right so here also you, you, I have to name this compound there are two things here see here carboxylic acid as well as oic esters are also there let me see how to name this 
here <clears throat> you have a methyl group you have an ethyl group c2h5 also how to name this see first of all i'll write this one methyl ethyl methanoate methanoate right hope this is clear students uh, see i've written the name please uh, try be yourself just see how to name it where, where have i taken the chain where have i uh, uh, like taken the longest chain and which one i did i take right so here i have two benzene rings i have to name this this is also your uh, uh so in, uh, what do you say both the sides alkyl group and you have again uh, o8 because c double bond o basically it is cooh we have taken out that on one side we have given the benzene ring here we have given one more benzene ring how to name it so when you have c6h6 it is benz benz means benzene is c6h6 you've taken out one it has become c6h5 now so we call it as phenyl benzoate done let's name this <clears throat> on one side you have a phenyl ring on then after that there you have an o8 group you also have a methyl group yes so to name this this is methyl 2 phenyl ethanoate because two carbons ethanoate now, let us name this here you have a phenyl group given okay you have a methyl group and the parent chain is 1 2 3 4 prop so how should you name this benzyl 2 methyl proponoate right let us see some more examples here you have a cyclo group but with this is 1 2 3 4 5 pent cyclopentane along with that you have a carboxylate group you have a methyl group how to name this this is named as methyl cyclopentane carboxylate you can name it like this also that again you have a cyclo group here how many are there this is one two three four five six hexa so to that cyclohexane or that cyclo group what do we do we have taken out the uh, one uh, means uh, hydrogen we have replaced with this group so how should i name this this is named as cyclohexyl methanoate done let me see name this here you have two COH groups and what is the uh, parent chain this is one this is two this is three this is four but so this is name and there is an alkene also so according to the order of the function groups you have to name it as but two in one comma four dioic acid means see here two in one comma four dioic means two oic means that is a suffix which we have used for carboxylic acid acid let us name this here you have one two three carboxylic acids how will you give this first of all see the parent chain one two three parent chain is prop okay so you have to name it as propane propane one two three so one two three one comma two comma three try carboxylic acids acid so this is the nomenclature of uh, carboxylic acid students i'll meet you again with the nomenclature of amines cyanides as well as isocyanides in my next video thank you for watching stay happy